Hello folks and fans, this is your blind dyslexic heading off to grab something from QT before I wear it silver. I'm going to have to get my notes because I'm babbling too much for my TVD at the movies. For my Iron Man 3, which I have to say is quite good. But I'm going to try to do it nonetheless, what the hell. Uh, we, show, we see O Tony having had it after his friend Happy being attacked by something of a biomatrix the biomatrix terrorist in a way like that uh, tells the Mandarin you take the first swing at me you better take the last you may take the first swing at me I'll turn my cheek you attack my friends I will bury you. But no, the uh, the Mandarin, played by Ben Kingsley, does a great job. I mean, I know a lot of you have probably seen it by now. So the twist on, the big twist on him was perfectly done. It was fantastic. Something that no, I think nobody would ever even have thought they would have think thought about because I'm trying I'm thinking with Iron Man they're trying to keep it like the bat like the Batman movies uh, pretty much mainly in the real world yes they've got uh, hints to the hints to Avengers and all but still things that would actually happen somebody would experience they're mowing grass, that's what you hear in the background. Uh, but no. And there's a real touching moment when uh, when Tony is in the hospital checking on his friend Happy. Uh, he tells the nurse that make certain the badges are there. Uh, always and he likes this particular series. That's a very heartwarming thing. And when he recovers, it's real sweet how he looks at the nurse. Like, <laughs> I mean, you just get this big warm feeling. And another warm thing, the feeling and funniness to it is, there's this kid who uh, Tony encounters, and it's like. It, the play on the two of them, it's like Abbott and Costello. Yeah, Laurel and Hardy. That type of bouncing off each other is perfect. And when the kid explains why out of the six victims from one of these biometric bombings, there's only five shadows, it's because the other five went to heaven. And the last one didn't. I thought that was the best, that was a, the best description of what happened. But apparently there's this, this experimental drug to try to help those people with uh, officers with missing limbs and all that, which turns quite deadly. Because if they can't control the feedback, they go boom. And that's why I say it's a smooth takeoff. It's a real interesting take on an update on the whole suicide, what I call homicide. But uh, another story, not here, I know. Uh, a good advancement in the whole suicide bomber take. A biometric bomb. That was smooth and getting to see all the the armor even the hulk armor that was great and it had a little bit of a comedic take to it here and there and what happens to his armor after saving all the people inside the in the plane you just go <laughs> to go for a few minutes, but the plan just looks to get the movie shall return after these messages.
saw this town in a hurricane. hurricane. Spinning around in my love, I found in a hurricane. hurricane. All at once in a flash of light. All at once I was feeling all right in the world. You caught me as that look in your eyes was such a Remember, Dean is an info nunnery. Well, all your... Oh, sorry. Uh, I was just talking about the uh, interesting commercial. Didn't know you were back. Hello. I'm back. Anyway. Where were we? Uh, no. Every time... Yeah. I think it's kind of funny. They had a little comedic take. And every time you think Tony's in the armor, it turns out not to be. Because he's got this... He's pretty much suffering from PTSD, from his encounter with the aliens from Avengers, which was good. And I'm glad they also did not, uh, they did not take, they did not do the whole alcohol problem like they did in the books. And Rhodey, his outfit, oh, that looked sweet. That looked awesome! Uh, the Iron Patriot instead of the War Machine. How he said after all that, all of a sudden done, War Machine really would did not vie well. And the fact that his uh, password for him to for Tony to find out all the information, because the Mandarin apparently was attempting to weed out. All those who felt to blame. But then, come to find out, somebody who Tony met in the past is actually to blame, is actually the head of the organization. Was a good twist. Very good twist on the and flip. Because there was a there was a statement. I think it was in uh, Yellowbeard, that old old movie. Not even. I'm thinking it came from Yellowbeard. But the comment was this per, the comment was they'll be last in the attack and first to escape. Let me get past all this. Hang on. Talk amongst yourself. Alright. Good. Like killing him instead. I, if I've made any mistakes, I'll leave, uh, I'll leave a little correction down below here. But. 
put a face to terror who you attack. You put a name to it who you think. So the true culprits behind all it can actually walk around faceless. That was grand. And what happened to Pepper afterwards uh, during the final coup de grace? Oh, you're thinking, oh, please tell me, please tell me Patriot uh, saved her. And then you come to find out she too got pissed. That way. That way. That way. Oh. Oh, and stay for the end. You probably already know this, but nonetheless, stay for the ending, of course. There's a uh, little Easter egg. I hate doing these this late. But. Well, they did repair that. Okay. DVD at the movie rating. Uh, I'm going to also leave it down in the description, but this is how it goes. You got full price and matinee, self-explanatory. You got dollar movie, second run before, second run movie joints that until they go to DVD. Now, DVD has two connotations. Is it worthy of your collection or should you wait? I've seen a few of those. Then it starts dropping from there. You got TV, Saturday, Sunday matinee, late show, late, late, however, late show. And then we've got the all too famous old fogey, old fogey styles, VHS and Beta. I've seen at least one of those, two of those, one or two of those, and when they reach that, then you know they're no good. But after all that I saw, and the heartwarming moments, full price. Definitely full price. It's a matinee movie, and it must be added to your DVD collection. Luckily, Star Trek Into Darkness comes this coming week, so when I get a chance, I will go see it, and hopefully put a, put a uh, review up a little bit sooner than this. Once again, apologies. But nonetheless, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe and leave your two cents. And please make a donation to the Heroes at Home and Cancer Sucks, two great charities that do a world of good for our military personnel and those suffering from cancer. And to all our men and women out there, thank you. Keep up the great job and stay safe. You're always in our hearts. You guys see a military personnel or somebody from cancer? Shake their hand and thank them. Or give them a good old hug. One of those two. But nonetheless, smoke them if you got them. Down it if it's on tap. There'll be my feet. There'll be a puddle. There'll be somebody trying to clean out their car. There'll be the great American flag. A mini flag. How cute. How cute, a mini flag. Oh, hi there, mini flag. You're so cute. I can just, I can just pinch your cheeks. You're so cute. Nonetheless, there's my destination. There's my snackies. Blind dyslexic. Ciao for now.